first Noel. Something. I didn't start that right. I had a plan. I had a plan. It didn't go well. Um, how's this? <laughs> how's that song start? Somebody help me out. I got to go. I got to get to my chat here. Hold on. Hold your horses, everybody. Um, does it start the first Noel? Here we go. I have got Liz. I've got Steve, Kathleen, um, Sherry, Shirley. No, Sherry. Rhonda. What is Esther Price chocolate? What is Esther Price chocolate? Is this something that I need in my life? Oh, I was a, a smidge late to <laughs> sign on. I was trying to find my gold gilding wax. And, you know, Tammy from the Rusted Willow, she came over and hid everything from me. Shana Bates. Shana, I hope I'm saying it right. It could be Shanna. It could be Shana. I'm from Chicago, so it's like, eh. Hi, Liz, my favorite. <laughs> Hi, Sandra. Um, Shana or Shanna, tell me, best chocolate anywhere? Better than Toblerone? Is it Shanna, like Sarah, or is it Shana? Somebody tell me! The first one, Shana. All right. I was right all along. I should have just trusted my instincts. Um, well, ladies and gents, you voted. <laughs> you voted. I put up a thing on my community tab and said, what do you prefer? Do you like my haul offs? Do you like when I have guests? Do you like when I have a bunch of guests? Do you like it when I'm just by myself crafting and talking like an, like a lunatic, which is what tonight is. And you guys voted and 60% of the votes were Go solo, Sarah. Don't have anybody with you. We just want you to talk like a crazy lady. So guess what? That's what you get. All right. So I mentioned in the um, in Connie's live and then also on my thumbnail that I was going to use the IOD molds to make some ornaments. And I also filmed. I did do them last night. And then I also filmed a little bit of it. Um I filmed some of it last night because I'm doing an ornament collab. I still have my gummy bears, but those are not for today. So I have this mold, which is butterflies. This one I haven't used. I, this is not IOD. This is Nipanda. But these are like edgings, which I might use for something. These are like sushi bush. Yes, that is the technical term. Swooshy bushes. Oh, there's a lot going on with the chat. Hold on, let me move down. Who's Char? Are you talking to Charlotte? Of course, butterflies. You know I love butterflies. Kristen. Hi, Kristen Bonds. Hi, Jill. Who else? Is that ice cream? Oh, I could do ice cream right now. It's chocolate, not ice cream. You have to drive to Ohio. <laughs> you guys are Christmas. I just said you guys are Christmas. And what I meant to say is you guys are crazy. Do you think that I'm losing it a little bit? It's because I read Kathleen's chat that said they have Christmas transfer. Um, I have this mermaid transfer that I, that I was going to use in Charlotte's bathroom, which I still might, I still might. And then I have this bunny, of course, for my beautiful baby dollar, daughter, dollar. Oh, one of these days. <sighs> I'd rather be Christmas than crazy. Girl, don't I know it. Do you guys, guess what? I got sent. Oopsie Daisy's here. Hi, Daisy. 
I recently met Daisy and I just love her. Okay, now this I don't hate, but I don't, I mean, I would have to use a monstrous, this is the mermaid. I would have to use a monstrous ornament. Like what level of ornament are we talking about here? You guys are all losing it and that's why you understand me. That's why I love you guys so much. But mostly Liz, Rhonda, you're like, once I get some comments from you on my, just kidding. <laughs> This, I feel like I could do something floor de but it's kind of, these are all big. And then the edgings, so I have like this shape, like the pendant, which I am using, which I don't think, I mean, is out of the question for an ornament. Like, I think this could be hung on a tree, decorated appropriately. These edgings, I feel like, let me open this. Can you tell that I'm a shopaholic? Oopsie days. Oopsie days. <laughs> no, I will make wall molds for them. It's just, I'm trying to make ornaments tonight. <sighs> Feats of strength. Ooh, this is very floopsy. <laughs> is there more chat? No, no. All right, so let's just talk about the molds. Okay. So this is an off brand mold <laughs> and this is an IOD mold. I prefer IOD. <laughs> it's still a fine mold. It'll work fine, but it's like, wah, wah. um, I have other molds that are like floral, but I can't find them. Mm. Anyway, when you go to school, Show that rapper who's <laughs> girl. <laughs> Thanks. I will. <laughs> um, I wanted to do some florals on on these and then paint them very lula la la lula and make them look very vintage. That was the plan, but I can't find um But I can't find them, but I will find them before the collab, which is November 11th. But for right now, I think maybe I'll do. Ooh, do you guys want to see me do? Do you guys want to see me do a couple butterfly ones? So the other thing I have is I had these like two by three inch wood. Um like squares. And then I took my gator cl clips. Does everybody know what these are? They're like, um, these are like a hole punch. They're like a hole punch, but you can punch like anything. So these punch through wood and they have all different size. Come on, baby. They have all different size. And you can also do like grommet. You can like put in grommets and stuff like that, which I guess if I was fancy, I could put grommets into these ornaments, you know, I might do that. I mean, let's see how fancy these turn out. If they turn out like snazzy, maybe I'll put little little metal grommets in the holes because I'm going to try and sell them. But anyway, I haven't used my crocodilly very much. Um, but yeah, this is what it is. And you can put it in different spots to make different size holes, etc., etc. So what I did is I had these rounds and I poked and I made little holes. So I, I did like the smallest hole that you can make, I think. Um, and then I used, do we know which one is open and which one is not? How am I supposed to know? I used super, super glue, wood glue, um, on the back of the butterflies. They ain't coming off. Okay. I think it's pretty. I have this vision in my head of them being painted like a navy blue, dry brushed with like a white or a tan, and then gone over a little bit with a gold gilding wax. Now you might say to, to yourself, Sarah, that's a great idea. That sounds beautiful. And then you might say, 
where did Tammy from the Rusted Willow hide your gold gilding wax? And I would say, I don't know. Somewhere. <sighs> I don't know. Yes. A crocodile? Is it called a crocodile? It is called a crocodile. It's not called a crop crocodile. This is what it looks like. It's called crocodile. C R O P dash A dash D I L E. But I've always called it my crocodile. What do I know? Apparently nothing. Ooh, you know what I could do? Ooh, you know what I could do? What if I use these huge popsicle sticks and put like some of these suckers, these. <laughs> Is that something or am I losing my mind? Could this be something cute? Like, you know, like those icicle um, ornaments. Is this something? Tell me. Somebody tell me something. Put me out of my misery. Um, crocodile, crocodile. Oh, <laughs> okay. Kristen Bonds. <laughs> I do get excited about stuff. What I mean, you know, people make fun of me about how excited I get about stuff. They're like, you have a lot of energy. And I'm like, okay, good. Go ahead and go through life. Bleh. I'm living my life to the fuller. Yes, I am. Okay. So the thing is with this, these, you could use these. Dude, I know. <gasps> so I just got a package from um, Woodpeckers. I'm I'm responding to Rhonda's um, comment that says, make a gingerbread house and use the swirling molds to frame it. Um. You know what, oopsie daisy, the only thing that maintains these this level of energy is like a lot of like naps. I do a lot of like mini naps. <laughs> I call them stress naps. When I get overwhelmed, I'm just like, and then I get up and I can, I can do that. <laughs> Charlotte will tell you. Um, okay. So now I forgot what I was saying. I can't remember. Does anybody know what I was saying? Oh my God. No, I haven't had, a, I had that Mountain Dew that was that last week. That was only because they didn't have a Coke at the Dollar Tree. I'm almost out of Coke here. Mountain Dew. Woo. That'll send me flying. I was, I was doing a show once and I was talking to a customer and I had a Mountain Dew and that's because you have to work 12 hour days when you do like you're vending an event. And, um, it was a yarn event when I had my yarn shop. And I was drinking a Mountain Dew and the customer was like, I don't think that you need any more Mountain Dew. <laughs> like she looked concerned. <laughs> I was like, sweetie, this is the only thing that's keeping me going. All right. Um, so, okay. Yes. So Woodpeckers is having this thing um, where if you like place an order on their website um, and I have an affiliate code where you can get a discount too. Maybe I'll put that in the um, description box of this. Um, you get like a 5% discount with my code. But um, they, if you make an order from them, I think you have to spend like 30 bucks or 35 bucks. You get uh, like this house. I can go grab it from the other room and you could talk amongst yourselves because it's right in my bedroom because I just opened the box last night because I was too excited to not open it. I was like, oh, I should do an unboxing. And then I was like, I just want to see what's in here. Okay. Anyway. Um, you, the competition is for anybody and it's to see if you can make a cool haunted house. Well, my brain is like, well, I want to make it into a gingerbread house. And I was thinking that all of these things, all of these molds would be super dope to use for that. Um, Connie's here. Hi, Connie. Um, Leilani, you were up to your armpits and resin. <laughs> um, Daisy. That would break my heart. Everyone's saying hi to Connie, but I get it. Connie is pretty stinking special. <gasps> Crafting up a storm with Char? Wait, how do I not know you? Wait, do I know you? Crafting up a storm with Char? 
do we know each other? You know, my daughter's name is Charlotte. Do you guys want to see the house? Hold on. I'll be right back. Thanks, Leilani. I did get ready. Do I know Char though, Connie? I feel like I need to know Char because my daughter's name is Charlotte and I love every Charlotte that I meet. I love. Okay. I'm, I'm like, I feel like I recognize you, but what the heck? Why am I not? It's not like popping in my brain. No, Rhonda, it doesn't count. I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm back. Don't get upset. Calm down, everybody. Okay. All right. So I actually placed, is Tammy, Tammy, hi, honey. We were talking in Connie's about how you were not an impartial um, referee and how everyone thought that you were very much team Christy and it wasn't fair and it wasn't right and it wasn't ethical. And we're going to go to the referee board and the Better Business Bureau. I don't know if that's a thing. Okay. So this is the Haunted Castle Challenge. How dare you? Or we dare you. How cute is that? All right. But look at the house. So I want to make this into like a gingerbread castle. But let me just read you the info. I got some other cool things. But do you guys want to see a couple? This is stuff I ordered to like do DIYs. But it's always so fun to, um, it's wooden. <laughs> okay. Everything from woodpeckers is wooden, but okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, what is it? Um, you know what my, um, my code is it's Sarah DIY. So S A R A H D I Y five is my code. So put that in at checkout and you'll get 5% off your order on woodpeckers and you'll also get a free one of these. So put your order in. All right. Okay. Your order of $35 or more earn this bonus castle cutout. And it's like a thick, it's like a good size. Okay. To participate, check out the sample spooky castle on the other side of this card. Uh, not that impressive. Um, get into creepy crafting and decorate your own castle for Halloween, post a pic or reel and tag it hashtag woodpeckers spooky challenge and tag us and get the run, get in the running crafters are the crafters of our favorite castles will win a gift box of Christmas products. We can't to see, we can't wait to see what you come up with. You guys crafters, they're saying like a bunch, like it's not like one winner. Okay, so Sarah, S-A-R-A-H. Should I put this in the chat? But look, this is like a good size, but I kind of want to make it a, I'm going to make it a gingerbread castle maybe. Oh, Connie put Char's link in the chat. That's awesome. Thank you, Connie. Okay, ready? I'm going to do this and then I'm going to get doing what I'm actually doing. Okay. Sarah DIY five. That's my code at woodpeckerscrafts.com. $35. Get on it. Get that castle. You better hurry. Okay. So when you are doing <laughs> IOD molds, <laughs> I don't know when it ends, but I feel like you guys should hustle. At the very least, you get a castle and you can decorate it for Christmas gingerbread style like me and maybe I'll have a contest and it'll be like whoever does it I'll say your name really loud just kidding <laughs> I don't know okay so when you're using the IOD molds with the paper clay which is what I'm using you can use this with resin I've seen people use it with like the 10 minute resin where it like cures and turns white I actually have used it with the 10 minute resin um 
I don't know when it ends, but what does it say on the card? It doesn't have an end date, but I'm assuming like probably next week. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> um, okay, listen. If you're using resin, you do not need to put anything in your mold, okay? If you're using these with fondant, don't use them with resin or clay. <laughs> Obviously. My three sons won our challenge and she won a huge box of Christmas stuff. That's why I bought those Christmas trees because she got them. I'm so jealous. I was so jealous. And I kind of said something to the to the people over at Wood Peckers. I was like, oh, I really like that box that she got. Like, send me that box. And they haven't. And I got wicked sad about it. Everyone's subscribing to Char. I obviously, I'm assuming I'm already subscribed to her, but if not, it's on my list. What, Connie, what did you find out? Tell me now. I have a guess. I have a guess in my head. Go, Connie. What? I have a guess. Connie, say the news. I'm losing my mind. Connie, start typing. I'm never going to get to this. Spill the tea. Connie. Connie, tell the news. Okay, wait. Listen, you have to use cornstarch. In the mold, you have to dust it. Zaley has been nominated for a National Youth Leadership Forum. That's so amazing. That was a lot of suspense. It was not what I was thinking it was. Um, that's amazing. I'm very proud of Zaley. Congratulations. All right. I'm just going to, I'm using my dotting tool to get out of any of these crevasses. <laughs> just kidding. Crevices. Um, anything that's, you know, left over. I think you could just wash these out with, with water too. Cause this clay is not it's just made out of paper, I guess. One can assume. And then I'm going to go in with cornstarch. Now, last night when I made these, I feel like I went too light on the cornstarch. Okay. Um, but I was worried that the cornstarch would get in the way of the details of the butterflies. And so I'm going to use like a makeup brush. And I'm going to just dust it on. I want to get it into like the little antennae. You got this. Cheer up, Sarah. You'll be okay. You're making ornaments today. Zaylee is um, Connie's granddaughter. She's super cool. She is 13 or 14. And she is a very accomplished young woman. And it's always very exciting to hear what she's up to. So first thing, otherwise your um, clay won't come out clean out of your molds. Somebody tell me what you want to do. I think I might just do like one or two of these and then I'm going to get to painting. <laughs> Leilani, you crack me up. Um, Leilani, why weren't you a part of our resin collab? Like, what's happening? Charlotte, are you going to come say hi? She just popped out of her room. My little baby girl has been sick the last, like, 
oh, I don't know how long. It's been like five days. See, at least 13. All right, so this is paper clay. That's what I'm using, okay? Um, basically, what you do is you want to put it into the mold like a so. <laughs> Something just fell off my table. I know she's still got like a little bit of a, like a, she's like horse and she doesn't really understand what horse means. And so she keeps thinking I'm calling her a horse. I'm not, you're not a horse. So then what you do is you kind of rub towards the edges to like get the excess, which I'll put into another mold. You want to rub to the edges to get the excess off. And so you get like a nice clean line. Um, you've seen like all my IOD molds that I've like barely used any of them. It's because they're so beautiful, but it's kind of hard to know like what to use them for. So I was really excited when I came up with the idea to use them for holiday like ornaments, but, 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 but we shall see how this goes. Let me get a little more. All right. Somebody give me a request for a... Thank you, Sandra. Oh, Connie, thank you. Um... Somebody give me a request for a Charlotte. What's your favorite Christmas song? <laughs> she said, Jingle bells, that man smells, Robin laid an egg. I just get my stuff from Amazon, but I'll tell you what I found in my town. I found a, well, first of all, it's my girlfriend's shop. So she has like this business where they do kitchen designs and like, they're like super fancy pansies. Right. And they do all these like interior design. Like you can go to them and they'll like make your house fancy. Well, guess what else? They're an Annie Sloan paint distributor. They have her, her um, stencils. They have her brushes. They have her paint, her wax. They have exterior Annie Sloan paint. I mean, I'm like, hello. So I, and they have her wall paint. I mean, yeah. I went to an event at her place um, during design week in our area and I won a hundred dollar gift card there. So I think I'm going to film in her space. Um. Grandma got ran over by a reindeer coming home from our house Christmas Eve. Um, something, 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 something. Reindeer, but as for me and Grandpa, we believe she was drinking too much eggnog or something like that, right? <laughs> Such a bad song. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. The other thing is this paper clay, you really want to keep it in a Ziploc bag so that it doesn't dry out. The purple painted lady. I just get everything from um, Amazon, but I will tell you, they don't have a good selection um, cause I was looking for, they have like these beautiful Christmas, like reindeer, um, snowflakes, all these beautiful things. And I couldn't find any of them. And I was upset to say the least. Okay. So now I'm going to take out this first one. So you kind of bend this. Let's see if I can get the wing or the antennae. <gasps> okay. Look. All right. So now it's out. 
Okay. Now I'm going to see which glue is actually open. Are you open? Yes, you are. I might need to rinse my hands off. I don't love having schmutz on my hands. Um, I put like three or four little um, dots of glue. And then I'm just going to get a little paintbrush. And then even, even littler one. Okay. Um, the first Noel, the angels did say, was to certain poor, am I saying the right words? Shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay, keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night. That was so deep, or something like that. No well, no well, no well, no well. Born is the King of Israel. Okay. So now that it's down and it's glued down, can everybody see that? Hi, Teresa. I don't know all of them. Somebody's going to have to send me a link. Okay, so like some of them have like a little bit of like edges. So I try and take like a smaller paintbrush and I go around the edges and just kind of like kind of blend them into the wood. Like a so especially on things like the antenna. And also I want to get rid of any of the excess wood glue because when you paint that, it really shows and you don't want to see that. So I'm getting rid of any like, you know, like those little like seam, it's like the little edge of the clay that you'll see. Okay. All right. I'm going to do these two and then I'm going to get to painting because that's, that's what I, that's what I came for. All right. I'm going to do this one on a rectangle. Who? Ha. <laughs> what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. I don't know why that song just came to my head. But I don't know. Um, oh, what song is in my head right now? Um, I had a song. It was in my head. Now it's gone. It's called ADHD. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of Silent Night, and then I was thinking of another song that I really love to sing. But what is it? No one will ever know now. Okay. I wonder if I can make these look vintage. Do you guys think I can? I hope I can. So here's another one put onto the wood. I mean, I'm going to try and sell these. So hopefully I can. I mean, honestly, I've made so many things and it's all just sitting like either on shelves What made you giggle? Oh, what is it good for? Baby, it's cold outside. Ba wait. Oh, how does that start? Somebody give me the first words of baby, it's cold outside. Give me the first words of baby, it's cold outside. I feel like I can venture to them up too. Something unknown, but baby, it's cold outside. I really should go, but baby, it's cold outside. The answer is no, but baby, it's cold outside. 
I don't remember the rest. Oh no. Baby, it's cold outside. That's such a pretty one. I mean, I have a few that I just like know the words to. Like chestnuts roasting on that open fire. Don't touch my open fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. All right, last one, baby. And then you're going to go away, and mommy's going to work on what I want to work on. You girls and boy, at least one boy. Oh, my goodness. You guys, there's a single guy coming to my Halloween party. But I don't know. You know I haven't dated anybody in, like, years. Okay, this is really pretty. Do you guys want to see this one? Look at that. Can you see it? I think it's hard to see. Um... Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy Infant so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. All right, I've got nautic, nautical blue. Let me shake this up a little bit. It could be exciting meeting someone, Char, but on the other hand, what do I say? What do I do with my hands? I don't know what to do. I feel anxious about it. I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm going to make a fool of myself. I'm going to be like, so what do you want to do? You want to get married? You want to have kids? What do you want to do? And I'll be like, you know what? Get away from me. I hate you. <laughs> no, I love you. Okay. I hate you. Get away from me. <laughs> I'm too, I'm too nervous. I don't know what to do. I can't. I'm too nervous. Oh, no one should let me near a person to date anybody. No one should have to date me. It's too embarrassing. <laughs> That's why I don't date. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Which one should I do? I feel like. Oh, sad, sad, sad. I love you. No, I hate you. I love you. I hate you. He's going to be like, nice to meet you. Be like, this is all part of my costume. Aren't you a roller, roller, <laughs> roller derby girl? Yes. <laughs> I am going to be on roller skates. I'm going to be, a do you guys want me to post pictures on uh, my community tab? First of all, I can post pictures of me in roller skates, but do you want me to post a picture of me with the guy, the new guy? Oh, what if he doesn't like me? I think he's kind of skinny. You know, skinny guys in the Midwest anyway, like a little something to keep them warm in the winter. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Okay, I'm just gonna paint this with nautical. I'm just gonna get my cup of, it's not a cup of noodles. It's a cup of paintbrushes. I'm just gonna paint this nautical and then I'm gonna go back in and see, see what happens with the rest of my life. I don't know. <laughs> he could appreciate all the personalities. Yes. Yes, he could. It's true. Oh, baba. Oh, oh, okay. Yes. This is everything. I'm so glad I didn't darken up this color. 
So here's what I'm thinking. I can either vignette this with a darker color on the outside or a lighter color on the outside. Tell me what, like I want to do, I want to vignette this. I think, I think lighter. I'm thinking lighter. Um, Christy, are you in Chicago? Are you in the Chicago land area? But you know what? Like a lot of my friends are like very slim and I am like, oh honey. <laughs> no, no, no. I've never had any trouble getting a man. It's just that I am very out of practice. And also as you age and stop going places, like I literally like never leave my house. It's like exactly where and when am I supposed to meet this mystery guy? Well, I guess where is my Halloween party and when is Friday and baby does got back. I have won five and a half booty shaking contests in my life. Of course, that was in my youth. Booty shaking is when you stand on stage. This is from the 90s in the early 2000s and you shake your butt to a song like I, I like big butts and I cannot lay. <laughs> is that anybody? Know what I'm talking about? Um, it's not as salacious as it sounds. It's very above board. And the crowd votes. They clap for whoever is the best. And I always won. I mean, I never understood people that ent entered competitions that they didn't know they were going to win. Although I did lose a competition once and I was like, excuse me? And the one half booty shaking competition that I won was because it wasn't actually a booty shaking competition. The guy was just singing. It was like a nineties band and they were singing the um, baby got back. And I was like dancing my little tush off. And then he moved on to sing another song. And I kept going up to him and I said, who won? And he was like, who won what? I go, who won the booty shaking contest? And he's like, you did. So that's why I counted as a half. Okay, you guys, I don't know if you're going to be able to see until I do the dry brushing, like how extra gorgeous this is. Oh, yeah, you can see it. So once I do the dry brushing and then I vignette it, there may have been alcohol inv involved. I was drinking wine. We were at this club. It was me and like a group of moms and we were all dancing our little hearts out. And when they started playing that booty shaking song, they were pulling women up on stage. And some of these women were like, and I would jump in front of them and I was like, shaking that butt, shaking that butt, shaking that butt, you know? And, and every time he would like be singing, he's like, my anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. You know the song. I think we all know the song. <laughs> And I just kept jumping in front of everybody and shaking my little tail feathers. And, you know, he just, it was not a competition. And I really was, I, in my head, I was like, this is a competition that I'm going to win. He gave me a pack of Yo! MTV Raps cards. Do I have, Kristen, do I have a, a list of must-haves and can't live without, like, for a guy? No, I don't think so. What's a must-have? I have, like, definitely no-goes. Like, I don't, like, I'm pretty sure if he rides a bicycle, I think adults that ride bicycles are a little bit ridiculous. Like, go get a car. Um, What else? Christy, I am a little bit nuts, but you know what? Nuts is fun. Well, Kristen, what, what kind of things should be on my list? He has a young daughter, so I know, like, that makes me, like, I mean, honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to like his personality. You know what I would say a must is he has to think I'm funny. If he doesn't think I'm funny, because my um, ex-husband, he... I, I didn't realize this until after we weren't together anymore, but you know what he used to say to me? He thought it was funny how funny I thought I was. Like he thought it was funny that I would laugh at myself. He didn't ever think that my jokes were funny. And I'm like, um, 
This is comedy gold right in front of you. You're living with a legend and you're not laughing. <laughs> like he would laugh and I thought he was laughing at my jokes. He wasn't, he was laughing because I thought I was so funny. What a monster. <laughs> that enough right there is grounds for divorce. Just kidding. But you know what I'm talking about. So I would say somebody has to like enjoy my humor or at least get it. Not everybody gets it. I have some friends that are, are always like, look at me like, are you joking right now? Or are you being serious right now? And I'm always like, I'm being serious. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> just a mess with them. I really should not be on this forum. Nobody should have given me a forum to just like talk. This is why it's better if I have guests. Must appreciate my talents. <laughs> um, yes. Let's keep it G. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this blue, you guys. Do you think this is like my color blue with like, I feel like, is this like not on trend for holiday this year, this blue? I'm literally obsessed with it. Christy, I just showed that comment without reading the whole thing. You need to keep it G-rated. Oh, you girls are amazing. And any men that are on here. Um, yes, yes. And I would say, do you know what I told a guy that I was like asking him to set me up? I said, I really want like a, a quiet confidence. And he was like, oh, get out of here. And he just like, like laughed me off and like walked away. But I don't think that's asking for a lot. I just don't want like an in your face guy. I would rather have somebody that was just like, yeah, I got this. Because I can't have a man that's like in my face because I'm a little bit in your face. You need to have like, like, yeah, that's my woman over there. And I'm not, I'm confident about it. I'm not worried about anything. I don't know. Who knows, you guys? Really, I just want a buddy to hang out with. I don't need it to be all that complicated. Oh, all right, you guys. Here's the second one. Do you think, like, obviously I should paint the back. I'm not going to do it right now. What I really want to do is let this dry. And then I want to try and dry brush it. The good news. Here's the good news for everyone that's watching. The good news is that I can always paint over these in white. <laughs> or just, like, throw them in the garbage and do new ones. Um... Maybe I'll paint one more and then I'll do the dry brushing on this one because I just want this to dry. Oh, Liz, you think that, but you know what? Oh my gosh. Yeah. There's some men that like, <clears throat> like want to do their hair and like outfits. I would hate that. I want a man that just wears like jeans and a t-shirt. Okay, rub and buff, Daisy. You guys should all comment on Tammy's from Rusted Willow and say, where did you put Sarah's rub and buff? Because I can't find it. And we all know that Tammy comes to my house in the night and she hides my stuff. Tammy from the Rusted Willow. I don't know where it is, but yes, yes, 100%. So here was my thought. Oops, oopsie Daisy. I am thinking... Okay, an IOD mold is IOD is Iron Orchard Iron Orchard Designs. That's the company name. Um, I did tag them in my post about this. I'll show you one of the molds. Here's a mold. They are fantastic molds, and they just have like so many molds. Um, and I'm using paper clay. You can also use resin. You can use all kinds of different. You can use like any kind of clay you want. And then I used wood glue and I glued them to, I don't know if the lighting is weird. I need to get, figure out lighting, but you know what? I'm not a doctor. Anyway, I glued them to these. I did some last night that I dried and now I'm painting them. I'm just putting this to Lola. 
I painted them. Okay. Now I'm going to dry brush them. And I think I'm going to use like either, here's a question, white, ivory, or oatmeal. So sheepskin, oatmeal. Did Kathleen say that's my oatmeal? <laughs> so that's my oatmeal. Do you hear my brain? I can't. Um, Kathleen said that's my oatmeal. No, Kathleen said that's my husband. Um, Daisy, I know Daisy is fine, but I can't help it with the oopsie Daisy. It's so cute. Oatmeal. All right, I got Never Naked Nail says oatmeal. I'm gonna try and do the dry brushing thing. I honestly haven't really done dry brushing over anything textured, but then I was gonna go back in with the gold. I have gold gilding wax, which is like rub and buff, but more expensive and high end. And I'm very expensive and high end. Hence the amazing hair, the amazing sweatshirt, the amazing everything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, you guys, guess what? I have been organizing my entire house and I moved downstairs. I had my balloon room and office in my dining room. My dining room is now a dining room again. Who wants me to post a video about that? Because I could. Somebody tell me which brush I should use for dry brushing. I need help. Someone, anyone? Bueller, Bueller. Ah. Did anybody have advice? Yeah. So I, oh, a chip brush. Oh, I have a chip brush. Where could they be? <laughs> I bought chip brushes, but they're big. Okay. Hold on to your butts, people. Okay, wait, listen up. Listen up, party people. I'm going to find this, these chip brushes. If I were a chip brush and Tammy hid me, where would I be? Um... Hold on to your butts. They're not there. There. Oh, you got the bubba. Oh, she got a nana. Oh. All right. I've got bad news and I've got bad news. I did buy chip brushes, but I don't exactly know where they are. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> Akio <laughs> chip brushes. That's Harry Potter, in case some of you don't know. Yeah, I do have some. I do. Tammy constantly comes over and hides my stuff. I'm desperate for you guys to all tell her that I said that because I really want her to laugh and text me about it. She just cracks me up, you know. Um, Tammy, and, the two Tammies, Tammy from Rusted Willow and Tammy from Happiness Created, the two of them, like the teasing is just so funny. You know what's funny is now that they're dry, I'm seeing little spots that didn't get the navy. I mean, this is a lot. This nautical blue is a lot darker. Does it look royal blue to you folks? Because it's not, it's like pretty dark. It's like a cobalt. That's what I would call it. I'm just getting into some of the little grooves. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, she is. Sarah got her groove back, baby. Don't mess with me. I've got my groove. <laughs> All right, so what I was thinking is not only would I get the butterfly with the gold wax, but I would also do around the edge, you know, so the edge has gold. Okay. Um, Kathleen says, good night. Good night, Kathleen. You can always watch a little bit more of this in the morning. I wonder if some of it's over there. I have a thought about where some of it might be. Are you over there? No? Yes? No? Yes. No, nope, those are just pens. False alarm. Okay. I'm just going to pick a brush from over here. 
not a typical dry brush. All right, oatmeal, today's your day to make a difference in the world. All right, so for dry brushing, you get your brush, get some on your brush. Does it look okay? A fan brush? Well, <laughs> you're a little late to the party. I just started. It's still a little wet, so the... All right, now is the fun part. I'm going to do... All right, who knows if this is going to look cute or not, but I'm going for it. I'm going to try and do like a vignette around this. If it looks, I messed that up a little bit. Ooh, ooh, I can blend the two together. You guys, I'm basically a genius. Um, I will for sure film this like overhead because I'm doing these for they um i'm doing these for the video the ornament video hey baby you doing okay honey oh yeah all right i went back back in the corner okay you guys now this is without the rub and buff but this is like the general idea of what i'm thinking what do you think it kind of has a vintage vibe, right? Now, this is without the gold rub and buff. You can kind of see the details of the butterfly. I almost feel like I could go back in with a detail brush and hit the butterfly with a little bit more of the blue. I mean, that's just to show you before and after. What do you guys think? And then figure I'm going to go back over it with gold rub and buff. So there's going to be layers of color. It's going to be navy, then the oatmeal, and then the gold is going to just be dusted on top. And then I'm going to do the gold just around the outside edge. Kristen, you'd buy it like for how much? <laughs> I don't know what to charge for these. I've never been, you know what I think? Women in general undersell themselves, right? We never charge enough for our time, especially in the DIY craft maker community we never charge enough for um you know the time that it takes but it's not just the time that it takes but like what about the fact that not everybody can do this like my mom sews she's been sewing since she was a child my grandmother was a wedding dress maker my mom made my wedding dress the fact that she can do what she can do right now is because of her lifetime of sewing so when she charges, I will distress it more. Yes, Daisy. Um, when she charges for doing stuff, it's not like she's just charging to sew that dress. Her price should reflect the fact that she has the level of experience that she does, in my opinion. But, you know, I think as I think we all can relate that, you know, most of us in life and in DIYs, just don't. What do you mean distress it? <laughs> I mean, I said yes, but what do you mean? Okay, on the round one, I'm doing something a smidge different, but you're gonna love it. My husband always tell me to a much higher price to sell my crafts than I have in mind. Rhonda, yeah, I know. Cause a man would never be like, oh, let me sell it for less. A man would be like, no, I'm worth blah, 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 blah. But women, we always discount ourselves. We shouldn't, but we do. All 
I'm going to charge $75 for that one. So if you want to Venmo me, you can, and I will send you the ornament, but it, then you're going to also have to pay shipping. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm, I can't. I mean, I love butterflies. So like I would buy all of these and just hang them on my tree. Honestly, I would just do, you know, what I was going to do is build one of those mini trees from the Dollar Tree and hang each of these ornaments as I finish them tonight. Is that hilarious that I thought I was going to like just knock out ornaments tonight and just like pop them on the tree as I go? Five to 10. Okay. I live in kind of a high-end community, and I think once I add the gold gilding wax, I think they're going to look a little bit more expensive. Plus, I'll add some, like, like, like satin ribbon as, like, the hanging thing. I think I could do 10 to 15 for these once I add the gold and the ribbon. 10 to 15. I think 10. Let's do 10. Maybe? I think 10. You guys like them? Okay, so you have to, on November 11th, I'm going to be um, part of a like a collaboration with like Indiana Jones and a few others. Hi, Carmen. Um, and I'm going to be doing like Christmas ornaments. And this is just the beginning. I'm going to be doing a lot more, especially because I'm doing this, um, on December 3rd, I'm doing like a holiday bazaar at my daughter's school. And I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to just be making a bunch of stuff for that, um, to sell. So should I do one last song before we go? My favorite, obviously. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Um, Yuletide carols being sung by a choir. And folks dressed up like Eskimos. Everybody knows. Ah. Turkey and some mistletoe help to make the season bright. I know it's been said many times, many ways. Merry Christmas to you. I can't wait for Halloween to be over and for it to officially be Christmas season. I mean, Thanksgiving and Christmas are like one thing. So, yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me tonight. Have an awesome week and enjoy Halloween with your loved ones. And I will see you next week. Um, and yes. Mm. Good night. <laughs>